hello and welcome back to the another video in this video i'm going to show you how to install debian with xfc desktop environment on virtualbox so debian often termed as a universal operating system is perfect for a moderately experienced user of linux so if you want uh, to set up a daily driver with debian stable with xfc you can run it for years without any reformatting or reinstalling uh, for fear of breaking your system. So Deviant package repositories contains all the possible packages which gives you the ultimate flexibility to set up any custom system you want. So if you are new to Linux then Deviant is this perfect distro for you. So before going to the process of installation, first of all please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Uh, it means a lot to me. So let's leave it here and let's start the process right away so at first to install the Deviant on VirtualBox first of all you need to download the VirtualBox um, exe file and the iso file of the Deviant so let me show you the process quickly so to download the VirtualBox you just need to go to the um, search for the VirtualBox and go to the download section so I'll give this link in the description box so down here you can find this window doors so just click on that and download the virtualbox 6.1 so after downloading the virtualbox you need to download the Debian so just search for Debian and go inside the download section and you can find the Debian download link the first at the top of the space so just click on this link and download it so just run the exe file of the virtualbox as the administrator uh, just click on next and just connect it's just simple step it won't take much time so it's it's done here so after downloading the VirtualBox and installing it, you just need to open the VirtualBox. So this is the VirtualBox interface and now you need to set up the Debian operating system in the VirtualBox. So for that, just click on new and have that type the operating system name. And so the VirtualBox is intelligent enough to choose its type and the version of the Debian so just click on next and now in this section you need to allocate the RAM sites for the Debian so you can just allocate up to the you can just allocate at least two gigabytes or you can even allocate more as for your system capabilities and you can just click on next and click on again create next and again next so now in this section you need to allocate the size of the virtual hard drives for the Debian so you can allocate uh, at least 20 gigs of the virtual hard drive so you can allocate even more if you want that's for your requirement and just click on create so here we go the first setup is done so now you need to just click on settings and you, do, you need to customize few things here so go inside the general section and inside the advanced set these to byte bricks now and again set this to bidirectional it will enable um, to drag and drop copy and paste the files and folders between the host machine and the Debian so host machine here is Windows 11 so after this go inside the system and go inside the processor and you can allocate the processor as per your system capabilities so you can just allocate at least two or you can just allocate up to the green mark to be on safer side so I'm going to allocate two for now so go inside the storage section and after that go to this empty section and you need to add as a ISO file um, Deviant here so go to that folder where you have downloaded the ISO file of the Deviant and just attach it here so here we go the first the another setup is done now we are just ready to go just click on start choose the first option graphical installation so 
So now you need to choose your default language. So I'm just going to choose the English. You can customize it, you that's per your requirement. And now just click on continue. And after that you need to select your location. So I'm just going to choose the other. And Asia. So here we go. Now you need to configure the locally. You can just choose the United States or you can change it as for your location. So now you need to choose your keyboard layout. So I'm just going to choose the American English. So now you need to choose the host name for your system. So I'm going to just leave it as Debian. And you can just uh, leave it as blank. Now you need to set the password. For the root or administrative account. So now you need to type your full name and now you need to set up the password for your user account. So in this section we are going to uh, choose the partition to install the Debian. Since we are installing it on VirtualBox, you will just need to choose the first option to in use the entire disk. And just click on continue so this was the disk which was created in the beginning um, which is of 20.5 gigabytes for the Debian system just choose that and click on continue and choose the first option all files in a one partition so here we go we are done with the partitioning and just click on the continue and click on yes and click on continue again so here we go, now the system is installing the base system. So it may take a while, uh, you should have patience for that. So now you need to configure the package manager. So it is asking to scan an installation media. Just click on no and just click on continue after that. So now you need to configure the package manager and now you need to choose the mirror country to download the files so for that let me just go down my location is not available here so now I'm just going to choose the United States of America and I'm just going to click and continue and again just click on continue after that and leave it as blank So here we go. You need to make sure that you are connected with the network uh, to complete the process of installation. So it may take a while. It will be downloading the files from the server of Debian. So you have to wait. Just choose the no option and just click on continue. So here we go, uh, this is the section of the software selection, so you need to choose the desktop environment for your Debian system. So in this video I'm, I'm going to install the XFC environment. Um, so just choose the XFC environment and just click on continue. So now it is asking to install the group with loader, just click on yes and just click on the continue and choose that virtual hard drive which was just created before and just click on continue 
so the installation is completed now just click on continue so here we go we are all done type your username and type your user password so now the full screen mode is not working here so to to be with on the full screen you need to make changes on a few things Wait for just log out from your system and just click on shut down. So after closing your Debian system, click on settings and go inside the display section and set the graphics controller as VBOX SVZA and just click on OK. Now click on start. So you can see here the full screen mode is perfectly working. So in this way you can install the Deviant system on VirtualBox. So hey guys, thanks for watching. I'll bring this video if you like, share and subscribe my channel. Have a nice day.